and welcome to another episode of Math with Mrs. Doomer. I'm your host, Mrs. Doomer. Today, we're going to be taking a look at dividing polynomials again. I know, you're like, we just did a video on this. I know. But here's another one, because today we're going to mix it up a little bit. Well, I'll try a lot of it. Literally, it's all mixed up. Can you see that? Here I have my polynomial. Well, it's really a trinomial. And it says 8m minus 7 plus 4m squared. And then it's divided by the binomial of 5 plus 2m. Hopefully you look at that and go, uh, that's not quite right. You'd be right. Because the very first thing you need to do whenever you're dividing polynomials is making sure that it's in order. From least to greatest, right? Highest degree to lowest degree. I think chapter nine, if you're getting confused, that was three whole chapters ago, you can do this, okay? So it needs to go in order from highest degree to lowest degree, um, and that goes for both your dividend and your divisor, uh, dividend and divisor, I had it right the first time. Uh, it goes for both of them. They need to be in order, in descending order, and if there's any missing terms, they need to be filled in. So what does that mean? You're like, Miss, I don't think there's any missing terms. Right, there's not. Ours is gonna be four M squared, and then plus the 8m, and then minus the 7. What I'm talking about is what if this had only been 4m minus 7? So what if it had only been 4m squared minus 7? Well, it goes from a degree of 2 to a degree of 0. What are we missing? A degree of 1. If it's missing, you need to put it in. If it's missing, what is it? How many m's do we have? Well, we would have none right? So we would have needed to rewrite this as 4m squared plus 0m and then the minus 7, okay? Again, this is if we were missing the middle term. We're not, so we don't need to do that. But if you get a problem and there's only two terms and you're missing that middle one, you need to make sure you write it in, okay? If you're missing the last one, you gotta write it in. If you're missing a squared in the beginning, that's no big deal. It just goes 1, 0. That's fine. But you can't go two zero. You got to go two, one, zero. You can't go like two, one. You got to go two, one, zero. So if you're missing one of those terms, make sure you're filling it in. Okay. Again, that's not our problem. That's a, hey, heads up. You're going to get problems like that. This problem is not that problem. Okay. So we've rewritten this one. We're going to divide it by, again, we need to rewrite it. So the two M is going to go first. The plus five goes second. With me so far? Okay, so descending order, descending order, two, one, zero, one, zero, we're good. It's all in order, no holes, we're not missing a degree. We got this. We've all got PhDs. Get it, get it, because we're not missing a degree. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> okay, not that funny. First one in line goes inside the box. Second one goes outside. do first step we've done this we've done two examples now this is example three what do I do yeah 4m squared divided by 2m we're gonna ignore the 5 for a second 4m squared divided by 2m so 4 divided by 2 is 2 m squared divided by m is m so this fits in 2m times 2m I got this divide check multiply times multiply. 2m times 2m, 4m squared. 2m times 5, 10m. Subtract. Subtract 4m squared minus 4m squared. No m squared. It's always promising. 8m minus 10m is negative 2m. Bring down the minus 7. No big deal that I have a negative here and that's not negative. No big deal that this five is not gonna work out perfectly. It's gonna be okay. What is negative two M divided by two M? Negative two M divided by positive two M. Two M over two M is one. Negative over a positive is a negative. It's just negative one. So far so good, right? So divide, check, multiply. Negative one times two M. Negative two M. Negative one times five is negative five time to subtract. So I need to change all my signs. Now it's going to be plus and plus. Do the actual subtraction. Negative 2m plus 2m. No m's. Negative 5 
whoa, negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Um, oh no, oh no, I have negative 2 left over. Oh no, I don't know, oh no, oh goodness, oh goodness. Oh good, I'm glad you're not panicking. That's good, I'm glad. See, because like whenever I panic, that's, you all look at me like, um, I don't know, you're so weird, Mrs. Doomer. I know, good, I am. Hopefully you've read through your notes at this point in time, but if you haven't, what do we do with remainders? Like, what if this just said five? Like, we were dividing by five and we had a remainder of two. What would we do? Please don't tell me to make it a decimal because you know how I feel about decimals. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, you do. You know how I feel about this, no decimals. But I could use a fraction. What would I do if I had a remainder of two and I was divided by five? I would just put it as two fifths, right? Like two over five, two out of five pieces. That's all we would do. Well, it's no different. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. But instead of our denominator being five, it's now gonna be two M plus five. That's all, we just have a bigger denominator. It's got more stuff in it. That's okay. So this negative two is gonna go on top and then two M plus five goes on the bottom. And then this could be plus negative two over two M plus five, or you could also write this as minus two over two M plus five. So instead of plus negative two over two M plus five, you could also write minus two over two M plus five. Either way, totally interchangeable. One is ninja-ified and the other one is not. This one is not right now, but like ninja -ed. So totally up to you, personal preference, whatever you prefer to do. So if you like seeing the minus two, uh, if you like seeing the plus negative two, totally great, a-okay. Remainders are not big, mean, and scary. All you do with it is take it, put it over the divisor, add it to your problem, and you're done. So when we divide these two things, make sure you have the order correct. Then if you get a remainder, no big deal. Take your leftovers and put them on top of the divisor. You've got yourself a fraction. It's pretty simple. Not that hard. I think you can handle it. Hope you had a good time on math with Mrs. Doomer. Catch you next time. Bye.